On this episode of Hardtail Party, I'm with my daughter, Little Dusty, and she's going to help me build up a bike today. Before we build up my bike, tell me what your favorite parts are about your bike. My favorite parts are the bell. The bell? Uh-huh. Good. And I love the wheels. This is the Womb One Plus, their biggest coaster bike. There's no pedals, there's no drivetrain. It just coasts. And uh, I think she's ready to graduate to the next level, but she doesn't know it yet. Okay, are you ready to help me build my bike? Yeah. Okay, let's take your bike out of here so there's room for mine. <laughs> Wait, is that a pink one? No, it's not pink. Ooh, I wonder what color it is. What color does it look like? It's yellow. It looks like mine. It looks like yours. Yeah. I think it's mine. No, it's not. It's pedal. <gasps> what? What did you see? Pedal? I think you're ready for a pedal bike. Oh, my brakes. <laughs> Has the same brakes as your last one. Yeah. So Woom makes amazing little kids bikes. They are half the weight of most kids bikes. I'm going to walk you through some of the features. These are very similar to her push bike. This is the Woom 3. I hope it has a bell. Just like my other bike. Well, look what I found in the box. It's a bell. It sure is. Can you ring it? Oh, there you go. You're silly too. You know I love you, right? Yeah. I love you so much. And I want you to love bikes too, so I get you the I, best bikes I can. I do love bikes. Oh, silly. good. Alright, what do you call this part of the bike? A handle part. So the cool thing about Womb is there are no sharp parts anywhere. Hey, this one's got a star nut. That's cool. The last one didn't. This way I can actually tighten the headset. I might want to see the star nut. In this little tube, it looks like a starfish. You see that? Yeah. That's called the star nut. That helps us tighten your headset. What's a headset? The headset with the bearings in here. Oh, I love womb. You love womb? Uh-huh. Boy, that is product placement. I'm teaching her young, I guess. Yeah, and I like all the colors. They do have great colors, huh? Yeah, I um my uh one that doesn't have pebbles is purple, and this one is yellow. Mm -hmm. So this is your first pedal bike. Happy birthday, <laughs> Daddy! I know this part looks like a fork, but it's not a fork. I think that's what they call them in the bike world is a fork. It kind of looks like a fork. Yeah. I forgot. It's not a fork that you eat with. That's right. <laughs> not that kind of fork. Yeah, it's a bike fork. Yeah. You silly daddy. <laughs> you make good jokes. <laughs> oh, best compliment ever. You like my dad jokes? Yeah. All right. You like my kid jokes? Yes, I love your kid jokes. I love kid jokes too. Why did the star? Go to the dry land. Why did the starfish go to the dry land? Yeah. I don't know. Because he wanted to ride a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Your jokes are about as good as mine. This is really cool. We've got a chain tensioner in the rear to pull the chain nice and tight. And the chain's completely enclosed. That means she's not going to get grimy or greasy or get pants stuck in there or her tutu stuck in there. You have a kickstand. We need to put your bell on. Hey, that part is great like this part. Yeah, when you squeeze this lever, this brake works. The green pads and the green lever. They thought of a lot of little things, like these little bolts have these rubber rings on them to keep the bolts from slipping out. Wombs are so user friendly. I wish more adult bikes work this way because they are, they've thought of so many little things to make the building and adjustment of a bike so much easier. 
It's the little things that make a big difference on this stuff. Okay. You're funny! <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes, that's right. Welcome to the Womb family. <gasps> My pedals! Awesome! Oh cool, it also comes with the parts you need to install it. Awesome, these are kid sized pedals. What? What are they're these things that when a car's lights shine on them, they make your bike extra bright so that they know you're coming. Why are those reflecting? That's a reflector too. We're going to put it on their seat. You right. silly daddy. <laughs> you think I'm funny? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Good. Yep, yeah, keep going until it's tight. This is pretty easy. Yeah, building bikes is pretty fun, huh? Yeah. Good. I like that these pedals are narrower. They're long in length, so it's easy to step on, but they're narrow so they don't hang out and bang on everything. This bike does not have a coaster brake. It's rim brake only, so she can back pedal, which is awesome. Daddy, you moved the pedal. Oops, sorry. Here you go, try that. Go fast. Yeah. I can't wait to try it. Should we try it today? Uh huh. All right. It sounds funny for those of us that ride bikes to think you have to learn to pedal, but that's actually a pretty complicated skill for someone who's never done it before. You don't just step on the pedals or you'll pedal backwards half the time. So we borrowed a friend's tricycle to teach her how to pedal. It's not going great. She still needs to learn what the pedals do and how to pedal, but we'll get there. But she's got the balance from the Womb One Plus, which is awesome. So once she figures out pedaling, she'll be riding in no time. Your bicycle is built. I also have a rack for it. Do you want to put a rack on so you can put like your backpack or a lunch and stuff on there? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're also going to put the womb pickup rack on. And this just bolts on like a regular rack. We got bolts there and threads right here, which do not interfere with the chain tensioning device, which is really cool. Those tires are giant. Yeah, they're a little bit bigger than your other bike, huh? Yeah. Well, this one's big. Mm -hmm. These will run over stuff better. We should get that to another person. I like that idea. Yeah, since, since I don't ride it anymore. You should recycle your cycle and give it to someone else who could really use it. I like that idea. Yeah. Speaking so of that, Womb has a trade-in program where you can get credit back from your last bike towards the next one, which is a really cool way if you got growing kids and... Um, you want to be able to put some of that value back into A, another kid, and B, into your next bike. Really cool program. Every single bolt, every single tube is rounded. There's no sharp parts anywhere. And she can pick up her bike by there. She can pick it up by here. Such a fantastic little design. And this has an elastic strap to hold her stuff on there. Well, how does it look? I love it. <laughs> oh, it probably looks like this is scripted. This is all 100% natural reaction. So here's her old womb, one plus, had 14 inch tires, no pedals, no chain. It was just a coaster bike, just a balance bike. Yeah. There's a, a womb two in between these, but we opted to go for the womb three because she's growing so quickly. Yeah. And this has 16 inch tires. It has completely covered drivetrain. <sighs> It doesn't have a coaster brake, so she can back pedal, which I love. She's already used to braking up here at the bars. I love the green brake to the green brake pad, so she knows which lever is doing which things. We got the little bike rack on here. We have Schwalbe Little Joe tires. These are high performance tires. It's got a little kickstand. It's got a quick release adjustable seat. Plenty of room for her to grow on this thing. She's on the smaller end of things. But this is your first pedal bike. This is exciting. There's also a steering lock here so she can't twist it backwards and get her cables all mangled up. You can remove that if you want, but I haven't seen a need to. Plus it teaches her to steer properly by leaning. I do leaning. not want to remove that. Okay, let's not remove it. Front and back brakes. Got your bell. We have ergonomic grips that are kid sized so the actual handles are smaller. So, because her fingers are so small, you can't fit a human, an adult sized grip on here because she can't even reach her fingers all the way around. So, we've got smaller handlebars, smaller grips, 
These levers are already adjusted in. It's a tool-free, small child reach so that she can reach that. They've just thought of a lot of wonderful things. This thing weighs 14.2 pounds with the rack. That's really incredible for a kid's Ooh. bike. A lot of kids' bikes are pushing 35, hey, 40 that's pounds. It. That's it. That's the has womb on it. You're right. It does say womb. How did you know that? Womb. You're learning how to womb. read. Womb. You're absolutely right. Good reading. Good job. And hardtail party. And hardtail party right there. You're my girl. All right. I think it's time to get this thing in the dirt. What do you think? Yeah. Time to get dusty? Um, what's your favorite part about it? I love the color and I love the company and I love the wheels. I love all the stuff. If you guys are looking for a great way to get your kid hooked with great equipment, definitely check out Womb. Anything you can do to help them have a good experience learning the bike will up your chances that they will actually enjoy the sport. And that's what we all want, is for our kids to get hooked so we can go riding with them soon. You ready to go riding? Let's go. A little bit bigger, but I think you're ready. Should we go for a ride? Yeah. Thanks for watching. There's a party in the mountains, and you're invited. Oh, that thing.